Tonight, we want to honor the life and legacy of Herschel Woody Williams, who was the last surviving World War II Medal of Honor recipient who passed away peacefully this morning at the age of 98. Mark Curtis tells his story. Happy birthday, dear Woody. Happy birthday to you. Come home. On the occasion of his 98th birthday, Herschel Woody Williams had his sunny optimism and humor on display. Don't close the gate at 98. <laughs> The year before, on his 97th birthday, he talked of being the baby in a big family, something that set the tone for his military service and life. There were 11 in my family. I was the last, last one. And <clears throat> so we had to work together. We had to support each other. We had to love each other. Oh, Born in 1923 in Harrison County, Woody would enter the Marine Corps at age 19 after initially being rejected as too short at 5 foot 6. He may have been short in stature, but he was long on guts, serving in Guam and Iwo Jima, two of the most vicious battles of World War II. It was at Iwo Jima in February 1945 that Williams, using a flamethrower like this one, attacked and destroyed several enemy pillboxes and killed dozens of Japanese troops, all while U.S. forces came under heavy machine gun fire. For his bravery and heroism, Williams was awarded the Medal of Honor by President Harry Truman. But as with so many Medal of Honor recipients, he accepted it humbly, as two of the four riflemen who flanked Williams were killed. I've been in the Medal of Honor Society since 1947, but most of them will say, it doesn't belong to me. I wear it in honor of those who never got to come home, who sacrificed their life. After World War II, Woody served in the Marine Corps Reserve and worked at the VA helping fellow veterans for decades. The Huntington VA Hospital now bears his name. He even trained with young troops, teaching his renowned flamethrower skills. Later, he launched a foundation dedicated to supporting Gold Star families that lost a loved one in defense of this country. The number of Gold Star memorials has grown, where loved ones can come grieve, reflect, and remember. That said to that community, my loved one is not coming home. April 8, 2004, United States Marine Corps. He was 21 years old. September 25th, 2020. For Williams, the Gold Star families were his enduring passion. I walk in the footprints of somebody else. I was born free because somebody gave his life to make it possible for me to be born free. And we must not forget ever. In recent years, the Navy ship USS Woody Williams was launched, and the response was his classic humility and gratitude. I'm very, very grateful that uh, this country boy from West Virginia would have a ship with his name on it that will sail the seven seas long after I'm gone. Our final interview with Woody took place just weeks ago on Memorial Day in Huntington. In noting the nation's often divisive politics, this may be Williams's enduring message. But somehow we must return to the country that we love as a United States of America. That's what they fought for. They fought for a United States of America.